very quickly anytime a door is closed there are two principles for opening that door number one is by the use of right keys when you use a correct key a closed door opens number two by knocking the bible says for everyone that knocks it shall be opened so you are not the one who opens it if you don't master relationships your knocking will not work because the person at the other side must be your friend for the door to be open and then number three which is the one i want you to do this night you don't use a right key the urgency is too much you don't knock you shake the foundation and break the door the bible says when they sang when the glory of god came in that prison the door was not open the foundation was rattled and the bible says all doors open how many all doors financial doors all doors open it didn't matter how long they had been closed because you see sometimes when you use a key and you pass the door can close your children and those behind you will still be in bondage but when you break that door the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder listen I really want you to believe in the power of prayer you redeem time never take the time I was told graciously that you have invested so much time praying and preparing for this conference don't you ever call the ministry of prayer a waste of time many would rather sit down in front of a man's office from morning till night and he will come out and say sorry i've not seen you you just keep waiting there and they say i'm not angry i'm not offended whereas you can spend half that time with the master and then he begins to move men is god not called the father of spirits every spirit is on is subject to him hallelujah the father of spirits that you can pray why is this ministry not growing why is this business not growing why are our partners living the bible says is any man afflicted james 5 13 he didn't say let him lament let him pray let him pray luke 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that man provided you are a man god never prayed as god but when he became a man he prayed all day every time he spake a parable that men ought always to pray listen if you fold your arms and watch things not dive in your life waiting for sympathy or mother nature or some kind of sociological coincidences to happen for the believer you define your possibilities you are given access to partner with god god is provoking someone tonight he said the reason why satan seems to reign over your life is because you've not gotten angry enough to shut your door and pray yes sir you can pray seasons out of your life you can pray seasons into your life you can pray things out of your life you may not have the power to manipulate the unjust judge but you can pray he says there was a man who neither feared god nor regarded men may you never meet such a man in your life that must be a dangerous man he does not fear god he does not regard men what kind of a man is that i'm praying for you again may you not find that kind of man in your life when you find a man that fears god you can ask god to speak to him and he will obey when you find a man that regards men you can use relationships as a leverage but where, what do you do with a man who is a judge meaning he's not a dummy and yet he does not fear god he does not regard men and here comes a weak supposed helpless widow but prayer the bible says she told him avenge me my adversary and for a while he will not listen to her but for her importunity her persistence the man said even though i do not fear god nor regard men but this woman continues to weary me so prayer wearies things everything that is a resistance it wearies it until it releases 
Hallelujah. Let's wrap up. So wisdom, favor, speed provoking prayer. Speed provoking prayer. I'm seeing just like fire coming on seven. In the number seven seven people i just said that speed provoking prayer and the lord is saying that you have been kept it's like an embargo has rested upon you and you are not able to rise i declare i don't know where you are help them please in the name of jesus christ please can you spare me five minutes pastor hallelujah in the name of jesus please bring them out for me if you can i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of Jesus, everyone kaporo shati kapaliata. Please bring them out for me. There's a reason why I ask that you bring them out. I command that devil to give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you, please listen. Be your brother's keeper. Whether you are an usher or not because this grace for speed is going to rest on people and some of them will start running physically please hold them this is a sign and a wonder so they don't injure themselves lord there are people whose destinies must speak now everyone who has been under the yoke of delay i stand upon this grace in the name of jesus take that grace for speed take that grace for speed take that grace for speed receive that grace for speed no matter how long you have been delayed i come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus the son of the living god elevation speed 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 in business speed in ministry 10 years in one year 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 bring them out in the name of jesus hear me there are families here you have been tied down so that no man don't lift up his head i want to release that grace in the name of jesus every family that has been stagnated go forward now go go forward 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 i prophesy go forward i prophesy go forward in the name of jesus christ hear me people of god your pastor has made you to invest time praying this is the benefit of those times of prayer this is the benefit of the prayer chain to prepare your spirit man hallelujah please be sensitive we're wrapping up already hear me everything god has told you should have happened in your life and is yet to ha happen by whatever means you keep seeing it prophetically but it does not seem to manifest in the name of jesus i stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of god and i declare let prophecy find expression let prophecy find expression let prophecy find expression please open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere in this building begin to pray in the spirit you are stepping into a new prophetic season rising in the spirit
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm wrapping up. Listen. Please do not miss any session, no matter what sacrifice you will make. I'm lending my voice with pastor. Invite everybody you know in Lagos. If there's no space, even if it's for them to stand outside, it should stand outside because God is visiting even through this conference. It's not just the title of a conference. It's, it's the advantage that you have. And there are many people who may not have this opportunity for a long time. Hallelujah. Now listen. I gave you four keys. I'm about to speak about those in front. Yeah. Key number one is wisdom. Key number two is favor. Key number three is prayer. Speed provoking prayer. The last key that controls speed is the prophetic. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. The Bible says, And by a prophet, And by a prophet, The Lord brought Israel Out of Egypt, And by a prophet, Was he preserved. Prophetic decrees, Are not empty words. The prophetic, When it is engaged, Within the boundary of scripture, now every time I talk about the prophetic I always want to observe that I know that there are issues unfortunately with authentic prophetic ministry across Nigeria and Africa but that does not mean that the prophetic does not have its place you ignore the prophetic your life will be stunted almost indefinitely the prophetic Jesus your Jesus needed three prophets in his life for his destiny to open up number one simeon the prophet number two anna the prophetess number three john the prophet that you call the baptist hallelujah 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 the lord is opening my eyes i'm seeing an email and it's written on that email congratulations this is what i'm seeing I'm seeing an email and on that email this is what I'm seeing congratulations I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus I release that grace upon you for as, for as long as the Lord lives you will testify hallelujah my time is up we have more sessions tomorrow morning and then in the night all of those who are in front in the name of jesus the son of the living god everything that is the work of darkness over your life i set you free from it now the lord is showing me a woman i'm seeing four years you are yet to have a child this is i'm seeing the number four four years because i'm hearing the cry of a baby please help that person yes and the lord is saying i should tell you remember you not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing in the name of jesus according to the time of life may you stand on this stage and testify hallelujah let me wrap up by speaking over your life tonight listen there are some of you you will not reach home before receiving your miracle I hope you believe it <laughs> the bible says of the ten lepers as they went they didn't arrive the place of a priest as they went i stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of god and i decree and declare in the name of jesus may my god who is also your god surprise you this night surprise you this night extraordinary supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus Christ and every delay retrogression everything that looks like it has put you in a position where you are a victim of time I stand by the power that raised Christ from the dead and I speak to you finally tonight be released from it now 
from it now. Hallelujah.